You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. My name is Grant Pachoco, and I invite you to join me on my quest to learn about and experience every Disney Park attraction I possibly can. This is Attraction Checklist. Welcome to Attraction Checklist. My name is Grant Pachoco. This episode, we take a ride on one of Disneyland's most popular dark ride attractions, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Located in Fantasyland, the guide map describes Mr. Toad's Wild Ride by saying, Zig and zag in a motor car during a manic drive through the English countryside. That's putting it mildly. Now, there are no height restrictions on this attraction, and the thrill level is listed as being loud, dark, a slow ride, and scary. Now, before we pull down the lap bar, here are five fast facts about Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. One, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride was one of Disneyland's opening day attractions in July of 1955. The ride was completely renovated and changed in a version that opened in 1983, but it kept the same spirit as the original and features many similar scenes. Two, The attraction is based on Disney's adaptation of The Wind in the Willows that was part of the 1949 animated film The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. 3. Each motor car in the attraction is given one of eight names taken from the animated film. These names are Mr. Toad, Toady, Ratty, Molly, McBadger, Cyril, Winky, and Weasel. 4. Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom had a version of this attraction that opened in 1971 and closed in 1998. It was similar to its Disneyland predecessor, except that it had two different loading areas and, thus, two different tracks that led guests through different scenes of the attraction. And five, the original attraction was designed by Disney Imagineers, including Bill Martin, Ken Anderson, and Claude Coates. The current version of the attraction has many voices supplied by voiceover artist Corey Burton. So join me now as I hop on to one of Toadie's motor cars along with my friend and Disney fan John B. DeHaas. And of course, after our journey, John and I will discuss our thoughts on this classic attraction. Also, this is a binaural recording, so if you have headphones, put them on as we take a trip on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride.
John, we just rode one of my favorite attractions here at Disneyland, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Is this one of your favorites? It is. It is one of my favorites because I miss it at Disney World, so I can only ride it here. I wish I would have been able to ride it at Disney World because it's got the two tracks. I would have loved it. Yeah, it was. I don't remember the last time I rode it. it was a while ago. What is your favorite part of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride? I, I don't know. Riding it just now, I'm thinking it, it makes no sense to me. Like he's it's one of the streets of London, then they end up in a bar, and then a, they end up in court, and a train runs over you, and then you end up in hell. Yeah. And I I don't know. That's what I think is the charm about it. It makes no sense. I like. I like that uh, there's little subtle things that have kind of always been there, like the um, when you go through the fireplace at the beginning, the fiber yes. optics on the floor. Yeah, that's cool. Those are awesome. Uh, I like when you're uh, going down the wharf, uh, the, the car, car bumps. Yeah. yeah, it's like uh, like that. And then I like when you're going through town around the fountain. There's chimney sweeps that pop up out of the chimneys. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, you gotta look, John. You I'll, gotta I'll, look. I'll keep my eyes open next time. I like how, it's, how, how fast it was compared to other dark rides. It seems to be faster. Yeah. The cars. Yeah. And, and the, I mean, the signature piece of this retraction, though, is winding up in hell. Yeah. Uh, I wish the smoke in the dragon still worked. Yeah, it wasn't working. What does Disney have against smoke? The smoke doesn't work in Soren. The smoke doesn't work here. Yeah, I don't know. It's no smoking kits. No smoking. I guess that's Is this one that you do every time you come to the park? Yes. Every single time I do this ride. Yes. Do you do it multiple times? Is it a multiple uh, time? Usually no once, once or twice. It depends right. on the line. If there's no line, I'll do it again, but usually... This is, I think, my favorite dark ride is this one. Uh, I worked here when Roger Rabbit opened, and it was very similar, and I like the uh, effects in Roger Rabbit, yeah. but I like this ride better. Yeah. Yeah. It's a classic. Yeah. It is a classic, and you are a classic, John DeHaas. I give it four toads. <laughs> four toads. Thanks for talking to Out me. Out of seven salamanders. This episode of Attraction Checklist featured special guest John B. DeHaas, who you can find on Twitter at the John B. DeHaas. What attraction should we go on next? Send me an email at hello at saturdaymorningmedia.com and let me know. Or you can let me know via Twitter where my username is Toaster Boy. Attraction Checklist is a production of Saturday Morning Media and made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly donation for as little as a dollar a month. Huge thanks to Shay Stewart, Mer Lafferty, Jeff Peterson, Dale Gadania, Stephen Staver, Jackie Klimo, Melissa Crawford, Chuck, Matthew Wayne Selznick, Dave Slusher of the Evil Genius Chronicles, Mike Coughlin, Dorothy Pachoco, John D., Kathy Crawford, Brian Greer, Carrie Whitney, Chuck Tomasi, Chris Foster, Stephen Ng, Clinton of ComedyForecast.com, Vicky DeVries, Mike Wabshaw, and Twitter user Butzingear, a.k.a. Wildcat. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your donation today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on iTunes. And if you have any feedback about the show, you can send it directly to me at grant at throwingtoasters.com. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time on Attraction Checklist. Attraction Checklist is copyright 2016 Saturday Morning Media, Grant Pachoco, executive producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>